G'day guys, my name's Hannah. <laughs> and this is Kieran. Cheers. <laughs> and we're Flight of the Fox. For the past three years, we have been traveling Australia and the world. So we found ourselves in a Japanese supermarket. And this season, we are exploring South Australia and proving to you guys that this isn't just a state to get to somewhere else. This week, we have a very exciting episode. We've become pretty big foodies in our old age, and we have gone on a mission to seek and discover some of the best produce that the Fleurieu Peninsula here in South Australia has to offer. So strap yourselves in. My shorts are going to blow off my belly in a minute. Get your big stretchy pants on for this episode because there are some delicious treats coming your way. Let's roll that intro. She's a cold land, a cruel land, a land of massive birds, massive sharks and massive adventures. Welcome to South Australia. In this series, we'll be proving once and for all that this great state of Australia is not just a quick way to get from east to west. So grab yourself a frothy. Do some power kicks and strap yourself in for some more kick-ass adventures. Come on, let's steal their camera. You're home. <laughs> and hashtag do the stuff you love. If this doesn't work, I'm coming after you all. So hit that subscribe button and let's get on with it. The Flurio Peninsula, what a bloody glorious place this is. Home to some of the best beaches, food, wine and views in all of the country. We had planned to spend three weeks roaming along the coastline and visiting Kangaroo Island. But you know, as always, COVID had different plans for us. We are thinking we might need to get in the car and go to Melbourne while we still can. But more on that later. Anywho, our first week on the peninsula was all about the food. We were on a mission to collect all the best produce from all the best producers in the area to put together a little beach picnic to have at the end of the week. And what better way to start than with a little bit of strawberry picking? So guys, welcome to Harvest the Flurry. Today we will be picking our own sweet damn strawberries and this place smells ridiculously good. I didn't think it was going to smell this good but they are beautiful and red and fresh strawberries and this is going to be the first part of our picnic. I'm very excited about this one, can you tell? That ready, set. Nice. How crazy, I didn't know that the strawberries go red from the bottom up, like they're kind of like this funky green colour, and then they start to go red. How cool is that? Bet you didn't know that. Oh shit. We'll take it anyway. My friends is the size of a cricket ball. <laughs> oh, my pilot's so cool already. Harvest the Fleury is located a little less than an hour south from the Adelaide CBD, not far from the stunning McLaren Vale wine region. And not only can you pick your own strawberries here, but they also have a great cafe bakery that is super celiac and vegan friendly too. We're going to go and have a competition now to see who can get the biggest, best looking and tastiest strawberry. That is the criteria we're going for. What do you want the wager to be today? Uh, to pay for the rest of the activities we've got planned out for this Ooh, whole video. Okay, good one. <laughs> to buy me another punnet of strawberries, yeah, just okay. for myself. Okay, here are the final two contestants. Contestant number one, bit yellow on the tip, bit of an odd shape, nice colour though and very heavy. Contestant number two, very red, fabulous shape but a bit greener on the tip, probably a little bit lighter than the other. Vote down below for us guys, left or right, who's going to win this? And we'll do a taste test once we get out of the patch because I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to eat here. You right holding all that? <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> the lady said I could pile it up, so I I pile it up. <laughs> so to come here guys, it's five dollars per person for people over 12 years old, and you pay ten dollars for the box, and you can stack the box up as high as you would like. 
these guys are fabulous there's also a brilliant cafe as i mentioned earlier so if you are on the Fleury peninsula definitely come and drop in it's fantastic <laughs> This area of Adelaide in general is so well known for all of its food. There was olive gardens we could have chose from. We can get olive oils and things. There's amazing bakeries. But uh, what goes perfectly hand in hand all with a strawberry? Chocolate. <laughs> Our next stop on the Tour de la Pitnik was the brilliant Brace Girdles Chocolate in beautiful McLaren Vale. Here in South Australia, chocolate is king and we had a bunch of different chocolate shops to choose from, but the exquisite hand-painted chocolates that Brace Girdles do really tickled our fancy. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. And I got the milk hot chocolate and the mm, rest is coming out. Brilliant, thank, thank you. you. Oh my man, that looks good. I just figured you were about to take photos. So yeah. I'm, like, I'm filming turning the hot chocolate around. Oh no, no. Thank, you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. So welcome to Brace Girdles, everybody. This place is bananas. I didn't actually realize how incredible this is going to be. We have come to collect our chocolate for our picnic here at Brace Girdles. They do incredible gourmet little chocolates, as you can see here. Brace Girdles has been an icon in South Australia since 2005, and they've been in McLaren Vale for quite a while now. I think this was their second store. It's owned by Sue and Gary. Sue worked in retail, and Gary was a high school teacher, and they started making chocolates together. And there's, I think, five different Brace Girdles stores all around South Australia. Australia and this McLaren Vale one looked so damn cute. So uh, that's what we've come for our lunch today. Cheers, baby. I know your hands are full, so I'll just cheers you. Um, I've got the white hot chocolate, which looks delightful. You got the milk hot chocolate. And the best part about getting hot chocolates at a chocolate shop is that they always make them so damn good. Oh my lord, that was really good. I really want to destroy the bay. I know, it's so pretty, it's so nicely done. Okay, I really want to try this vegan one. This one's for the vegans out there. But it looks like a little galaxy, doesn't it look like Mars? How mad is that? That's some serious it's design. So cool. Salted caramel. Wow, that's the saltiest of caramels I've ever tasted. You have chocolate and blue all over your face. <laughs> Smile. Ew, great. <laughs> Look at your lips. <laughs> mm. My fingers. <laughs> Brace Girdles in McLaren Vale makes for a great morning or afternoon tea spot. We did their afternoon high tea menu and for $20 each got a scone with jam and cream, a hot chocolate and we each got to select three or four of their brilliant handmade chocolates. My shorts are going to blow off my belly in a minute. Mm. Okay, so we have the strawberries, we have the chocolate. What else is vital for a solid picnic? Cheese Company and it looks brilliant. We are trying four different cheeses with four different alcohols including beer, cider, toke, which I now know what that is, and gin, which thank the Lord. I love my gin. <laughs> I do love your gin. So this experience is known as the Barossa's finest pairing. So there's a couple of options you can do when you come here. One is a tea and cheese, this is the alcohol and cheese, and you can do a wine flight as well if you like your cheese and wines, which is incredibly popular. But we thought we'd go a bit different today and do the four different alcohols, which I am super excited about. So while you're here, you can also buy products and stuff, obviously, but they have a webcam style thing to watch the cheese makers actually making the cheese, which is really, really cool. Considering you can't do factory tours and things at the moment because of COVID, uh, it's a really good option. Are you saying Cheese TV is still running? Oh, 
Is that the joke you were trying to make? Yes. Oh, my nan. <laughs> I did that all before. My God. If you're not from Australia, yeah. you won't know what she's doing. <laughs> For cheese and booze lover like me, the Barossa Valley Cheese Co. is a must. Nestled in the beautiful Barossa Valley, this place is stunning, tasty, and one of the best experiences we've had. So the first one we have is called a Barossa Geo. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I really have no clue when it comes to this stuff. You're giving me those eye rolling moments. I love cheese tastings. Oh, They're my favorite. All right, now we have the side oven. Oh yeah, she's right. Oh yeah. Couple that this together. This is good. This is really good. Um, you ready to try the next one? Yeah, I want to have my go now. We've watched you do it. Now it's my turn. <laughs> what have we got? So we've got the Barossa Cunnambert with a Green Rock Brewers Victoriaville Ale. Nice. <laughs> you sound so cheesy. <laughs> you have to in these situations. Mm. Stop shoving me in your mouth. <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh yeah, that's a good chip. I know my gin and that's a good chip. Ooh, that's good squishy. <coughs> Whoa, that's good squishy. So for 50 bucks a head, you can taste some of the Barossa Valley's finest cheese, as well as some of the local area's best alcohols, including beer, cider, gin, and toke, which isn't Japanese like I thought it was, but it is damn tasty. It was a wonderful experience. Oh yeah, that was fabulous. When you add it up though, it's actually quite a lot of alcohol. So make sure you are good to drive home because I certainly am not. That is two shots, one port shot, and one gin shot. And then they keep refilling your ciders and your beers. So you end up sort of splitting a cider and a beer together. So you have like one full alcoholic drink and two shots, which for little old me is a lot. We're gonna grab a couple of cheeses for our picnic. So we've got the strawberries. We've got the chocolate, we've got the cheese. There is one final thing that we need for the ultimate Fleury Peninsula picnic. So of course we needed our wine for our little picnic and if you were watching last week's episode, you would know that we have made our very own blend. If you haven't seen that episode yet, click up here or here, wherever it is. I'll link it below and you can watch that episode after this one. But now I think we're ready for our picnic. I think we're complete, aren't we? All right, let's get out of here. So guys, welcome to our beautiful little picnic that we have been preparing for all week. It is a amazing sunny day here on Elzinger Beach. And uh, we have all of our goodies, including our Ladame cheese from the Barossa and our Geo from the Barossa. We also have our chocolate from Brace Girdles. We have our strawberries from Harvest the Flurry. Our Foxtrot wine, which was handmade by Kieran at Darrenberg's yesterday. If you haven't seen that episode yet, it was up last week. You can click up here and watch it next if you haven't seen it yet. And we also have some $2 crackers from Aldi because we're broke now after this experience. So, picnic time. Picnic Very time. Excited. Well guys, if you made it this far in the video, well done for making it through our endless amounts of eating and drinking. The Florio Peninsula truly is a mecca for incredible produce and I hope we've inspired you to head to South Australia and sink your teeth into some quality foods from some of the best growers and makers in Australia. Now, in pure Hannah style, I filmed a great sign off for this week's video, but I didn't turn the damn microphone on. That is a classic YouTube mistake. So here I am flapping around, thanking you all so much for watching this week's episode. I do, however, want to take a moment to say a massive thank you to this wonderful YouTube community. Our channel has seen enormous growth over the past few months and we only have you guys to thank. So for all of you who take the time to watch our videos, comment, like and subscribe, we are eternally grateful. Everything you do each week means we can keep going with what we do to bring you travel videos each and every week. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Now as promised, here is a little sneak preview of next week's a drama. Enjoy and we will catch you all next Wednesday. Bye. South Australia, where we currently are, has recorded 17 coronavirus cases overnight, which is not ideal. Everybody has left, there is nobody around. The SA Premier has just announced that unnecessary travel is frowned upon. Um, but it probably is the 
safest option at the moment if you go down the safe line. We've got our little face mask ready out of had a mini panic attack, so uh, we're all good. Goulash inside of it. Goulash? <laughs> Do you know what goulash is? Wasn't that like the, ganache. Uh, ganache. So it's like ganache inside of it. Subscribe. <laughs>